being around our little relative, I was reminded of one thing, and that is little ones are like sponges. They absorb everything, whether it's good or bad, because they don't have that discernment. And so my question to you is, are you like that little one where have you picked up bad habits? Welcome to Collective Gifts. I'm Noella and this is Rachel. Hey, hey everyone. We are talking about bad habits. Have you picked up bad habits? So with our little relative, I use this one phrase just once and I, I normally don't say ay 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 ay, but she heard it, she thought it was funny and so she started incorporating it in her daily life by saying ay 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 and we'd laugh. And so it really made me think, if I just said this once and it wasn't like a normal thing, right? Like how much more impressionable is she when she's exposed to other things, which we've actually seen in some things that she said, there were kind of some bad, bad habits, not bad words, but just phrases that you wouldn't want a child to say when they're mad. You know, we want them to be able to communicate and not be mean and say stuff. So that being said, Holy Spirit was ministering to me. Have you picked up bad habits? So sometimes you think like, oh, it's so innocent. It's not so bad, especially with the TV shows nowadays. You know, they have the little plot lines and stuff like, oh, people lie a little here or they try to hide something or, you know, do something that seems just like, oh, it's innocuous. It's in the rules, right? Yeah, in the rules. And it's like, it's not going to hurt anybody. It's just, you know, it's just like what people in the world do. And so, you know, just watching these shows and it's like, not like it's like violent or bad shows that I'm watching. You know, it's just like, you know, like just stuff that is family friendly. And so we're just like watching that and realizing the plot line of just the bad habits that these people are, you know, displaying. It's just like, wow, it's just really subtle. But yet you have to be totally aware and be careful about that. Because the word tells us, right, that, you know, in these last days, right, people will call what is good evil and what is evil good. And the evil things can be sugar-coated and wrapped up yeah. and, and you can laugh it off as being funny and all that. But that seed has been sown. It's out there. And if you allow it to enter into your life, then, you know, that's going to take root. So then now you're going to deviate away from operating according to God's principles. And it's not to say that you need to live in a bubble, right? <laughs> or have Don't a utopia. This, yeah. Yeah. You know, but it's, it's more of having to have that discernment. And who's, you know, when we're with little ones, right? like with our little relative, we were the ones that were controlling in the sense of or or monitoring what she could intake so that it would be good things that would be benefiting her as opposed to allowing these like little weeds to come into her life and take root. And so for us, you know, now that we are adults, right, you know, it's not to say that we're going to look to our parents anymore or spiritual parents or anything like that, which we can open up ourselves to listen to what they're saying. But our true monitor is Holy Spirit. He's the one that's going to lead us and guide us into all truth and the way that we should go and what can be acceptable for us. And the other thing, too, is that what's acceptable maybe for Noella is not acceptable for me because everything's all permissible, but not everything is beneficial. And that can also apply to us as as far as with our particular phase in life of what we're going through or type of personality and a calling that God has for us. And so that's why it's so important to not just listen to what everybody's saying. Okay, as believers, you can't do this and this and this, but you go to Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, is this okay for me to do or for me to listen to? Or, you know, if you have a check in your spirit because of a language that you had used, which maybe you shouldn't have said, right? That's where you can go forth and make that correction. So you don't pick up any bad habits because once again, right, we are children of God. We represent him and his love to the world. And how can we represent him truly if we are not fully representing him, but we're going forth by what our flesh wants or thinks and says and does. And so, you know, just picking up those bad habits, sometimes you watch it, you, you see that it's okay and it's success, acceptable in the world and so that you do it. And that's just like picking up a bad habit. That's not being a good representative of God. That's not being an ambassador to the world of being the light, of being the truth and showing them, you know, as a Christian, we don't live like how the world lives. We have to be, you know, the light and just really, truly seek the Holy Spirit to discern truly what to do, you know, what to watch, what to listen to, and just just everything, you know, in all areas of our lives, every decision that needs to be made, we just need to seek the Holy Spirit. Yeah, so we can be that living example. And then, you know, that ties into the fast that we did this year about living Pono or doing the right thing, right? That's living righteous. That's going forth and doing the right things. If we want to see changes, not only in our lives, but in the lives of our loved ones and in this world, we have to go forth and being the change, making changes in our lives and doing the right things so that other people can see that there is there are other people 
out there and this is how you go forth in you know living a life of righteousness living a life that's devoted to god and seeing that it's not a killjoy it's not a downer it's not being like you're you're being you know separate you know totally separate in your little bubble but you know how to interact with others and also go forth in the way that god designed us to be because we are in the people business we are here to share his love with others so we hope that this encouraged you thank you for joining us today and until next time shalom, shalom.